Christ is born. Glorifying. Christos 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 Glory to Jesus Christ. And to ages of ages. Amen. Brothers and sisters, this feast and the way it's celebrated, and the whole story about the birth of Jesus Christ, has a great message that is so often missed by people. We're not celebrating the birth of baby Jesus tonight. We're celebrating the incarnation of the living God. That God truly became man in order to embrace us and in order to reveal himself to us. But what is it that he reveals to us about himself? Born in a manger cave in a small town in Judea. Kings, princes, are born in palaces and they're great celebrations when they're born. Even the children of ordinary citizens will be celebrated and announced and proclaimed. But our Lord Jesus Christ is born in the still quiet of the night in a manger cave filled only with animals. What is revealed to us about the living God who was incarnate and became man for our sake? That God is meek and God is humble and God is lowly of heart and that God does not seek to be worshipped as earthly kings are worshipped but seeks to be glorified in love, in meekness and humility seeks to be glorified in the hearts of men, not simply with their tongues. Seeks to reveal to us the greatness of his love for mankind when he humbles himself down and, as we say, empties himself and appears in a manger cave as a babe. How much more humility and meekness could he show than this? Think back to that story about the Garden of Eden. What was the, really the big mistake in the Garden? Adam and Eve became afraid of God. That was the big mistake. Remember when they had sinned, they became afraid and hid themselves. But that's really the whole story, isn't it? We try to hide from God. We think that we've committed such great sins Instead of simply repenting, we try to hide from God because somehow we make the mistake of being afraid of God. Of being afraid of love. Of being afraid of trust. Of being afraid of the meek and humble God who comes down to walk with Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. The humble God who comes down to try to forgive Cain if he'll only repent. Brothers and sisters, there's nothing to fear in our quest for our salvation. There's nothing to fear here. Trembling in awe and wonder that God himself has become man and shaken the whole foundations of the universe by this great miracle. And yet it takes place in such meekness and such humility in such co-suffering love. Should we try to hide ourselves from God rather than stand in His light that His light might purify and cleanse us? Brothers and sisters, if this feast, if this story reveals anything to us, it's that we cannot hide from God and we do not need to fear Him with terror and trembling, to look with awe and wondering indeed but God is only love, and God reveals himself constantly and always in meekness and humility. 
when God becomes man and we see him face to face, we see him in this meekness and in this humility, as he says to, in one place, the foxes have a place in the ground, but the Son of Man has no place to lay his head. And even in his birth, in his nativity, as in his crucifixion, he shows us that love is above all, and everything he does is an outpouring, a constant outpouring of understanding of our weakness, of understanding of our humility, of understanding that we're broken human beings who need to be put together and healed again. We cannot hide from God, brothers and sisters, and we need not be afraid of him. We need only to open our eyes and look upon him as the shepherds did and see the unselfish love and try to imitate the meekness and humility of God. Brothers and sisters, let us rejoice in our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ who has loved us so greatly as to humble himself and come down and take on our flesh in the most humble, in the most meek way in order to show us that the real problem for mankind, not sin as such, it's our ego. Our ego, brothers and sisters, which gives us pride and arrogance and which makes us love ourselves more than we love others. The living God has come down to earth without ego, without self-love, without any arrogance, without condemnation. The living God has come down completely free of ego because this is the real problem of humanity. And he showed us the path back through unselfish love. Let us therefore glorify our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ who created us in the beginning and has come back now to pick up a broken and wounded humanity. And as St. Basil the Great says, like a, great, like a true physician, to bandage those wounds and to heal the brokenness of mankind. If we could imitate God in these ways, our Lord Jesus Christ, we could also serve for the healing of the world around us. Let us therefore glorify our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, who is incarnate this day, and cry out, Christ is born. Glorify Amen. Amen.